This episode is brought to you by IVP. Do you feel exhausted by the noise and chaos of the digital age? In the Digital Examine podcast from IVP, author and pastor J.Y. Kim converses with leaders, pastors, and scholars who are seeking to reorient their lives around peace and self-reflection. Join them as they tune their hearts and minds to hear the voice of God in all its clarity, kindness, and strength. Watch The Digital Examine on the IVP YouTube channel or listen on your favorite streaming platform. This is IVP. Listening to Get in the Word with Truth Table. Your word is truth, your word is life. Presented by Innervar City Press. Your word is truth, your word is life. A daily audio Bible podcast read by Dr. Christina Edmondson and Akemeni Uwan. Let's get in the Word, and may the Word get in us. Open our eyes, that we may behold wonderful things in your Word. Old Testament reading, Numbers chapter 2, through Numbers chapter 3, verse 32. Numbers chapter 2, the arrangement of the tribes. The Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron. Every one of the Israelites must camp under his standard with the emblems of his family. They must camp at some distance around the tent of meeting, the tribes on the east. Now those who will be camping on the east toward the sunrise are the divisions of the camp of Judah under their standard. The leader of the people of Judah is Nachshon, son of Aminadab. Those numbered in his division are 74,600. Those who will be camping next to them are the tribe of Ishakar. The leader of the people of Ishakar is Nathanel, son of Zuar. Those numbered in his division are 54,400. Next will be the tribe of Zebulun. The leader of the people of Zebulun is Eliab, son of Helon. Those numbered in his division are 57,400. All those numbered of the camp of Judah, according to their divisions, are 186,400. They will travel at the front. The tribes on the south. On the south will be the divisions of the camp of Reuben under their standard. The leader of the people of Reuben is Elizur, son of Shedur. Those numbered in his division are 46,500. Those who will be camping next to them are the tribe of Simeon. The leader of the people of Simeon is Shelumiel, son of Zerushadai. Those numbered in his division are 59,300. Next will be the tribe of Gad. The leader of the people of Gad is Eliasaph, son of Duel. Those numbered in his division are 45,650. All those numbered of the camp of Reuben, according to the divisions, are 151,450. They will travel second. The tribe in the center, then the tent of meeting with the camp of the Levites, will travel in the middle of the camps. They will travel in the same order as they camped, each in his own place, under his standard. The tribes on the west. On the west will be the divisions of the camp of Ephraim, under their standard. The leader of the people of Ephraim is Elishama, son of Amihud. Those numbered in his division are 40,500. Next to them will be the tribe of Manasseh. The leader of the people of Manasseh is Gamalil, son of Perasur. Those numbered in his division are 32,200. Next will be the tribe of Benjamin. The leader of the people of Benjamin is Abidan son of Gideoni. Those numbered in his division are 35,400. All those numbered of the camp of Ephraim, according to their divisions, are 108,100. They will travel third. The tribes on the north. On the north will be the divisions of the camp of Dan, under their standards. The leader of the people of Dan is Ahiezer, son of Amishadai. 
Those numbered in his division are 62,700. Those who will be camping next to them are the tribe of Asher. The leader of the people of Asher is Pagil, son of Okran. Those numbered in his division are 41,500. Next will be the tribe of Natali. The leader of the people of Natali is Ahira, son of Inan. Those numbered in his division are 53,400. All those numbered of the camp of Dan are 157,600. They will travel last under their standards. Summary These are the Israelites numbered according to their families. All those numbered in the camps by their divisions are 603,550. But the Levites were not numbered among the other Israelites as the Lord commanded Moses. So the Israelites did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. That is the way they camped under their standards, and that is the way they traveled, each with his clan and family. Numbers chapter 3 through verse 32. The sons of Aaron. Now these are the records of Aaron and Moses. When the Lord spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai, these are the names of the sons of Aaron. Nadab, the firstborn, Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the anointed priests whom he consecrated to minister as priests. Nadab and Abihu died before the Lord when they offered strange fire before the Lord in the desert of Sinai, and they had no children. So Eleazar and Ithamar ministered as priests in the presence of Aaron, their father. The Assignment of the Levites The Lord spoke to Moses, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may serve him. They are responsible for his needs and the needs of the whole community before the tent of meeting by attending to the service of the tabernacle, and they are responsible for all the furnishings of the tent of meeting and for the needs of the Israelites as they serve in the tabernacle. You are to assign the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They will be assigned exclusively to him out of all the Israelites. So you are to appoint Aaron and his sons, and they will be responsible for their priesthood but the unauthorized person who comes near must be put to death. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Look, I myself have taken the Levites from among the Israelites instead of every firstborn who opens the womb among the Israelites. So the Levites belong to me, because all the firstborn are mine. When I destroyed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I set apart for myself all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. They belong to me. I am the Lord. The Numbering of the Levites Then the Lord spoke to Moses in the desert of Sinai. Number the Levites by their clans and their families. Every male from a month old and upward you are to number. So Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord, just as he had been commanded. The Summary of Families These were the sons of Levi by their names. Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families. Libni and Shimei. The sons of Kohath by their families were Amram, Izar, Hebron, and Uzil. The sons of Merari by their families were Mali and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites by their clans. The numbering of the Gershonites. From Gershon came the family of the Libanites and the family of the Shemites. These were the families of the Gershonites. Those of them who were numbered, counting every male from a month old and upward, were 7,500. The families of the Gershonites were to camp behind the tabernacle toward the west. Now the leader of the clan of the Gershonites was Eliasaph, son of Lael. And the responsibilities of the Gershonites in the tent of meeting included the tabernacle, the tent with its covering, the curtain at the entrance of the tent of meeting, the hangings of the courtyard, the curtain at the entrance to the courtyard that surrounded the tabernacle, and the altar and their ropes, plus all the service connected with these things. The numbering of the Kohathites. From Kohath came the family of the Amramites, the family of the Israelites, the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzilites. These were the families of the Kohathites. Counting every male from a month old and upward, there were 8,600. They were responsible for the care of the sanctuary. The families of the Kohathites were to camp on the south side of the tabernacle. Now the leader of the clan of the families of the Kohathites was Elizaphan, son of Uzil. Their responsibilities included the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altars, and the utensils of the sanctuary with which they ministered, the curtain and all their service. 
Now the head of all the Levitical leaders was Eliezer, son of Aaron the priest. He was appointed over those who were responsible for the sanctuary. New Testament reading, Matthew chapter 10, sending out the 12 apostles. Jesus called his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits so they could cast them out and heal every kind of disease and sickness. Now these are the names of the 12 apostles. First Simon, called Peter, and Andrew his brother, James, son of Zebedee, and John his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus sent out these twelve, instructing them as follows, Do not go on a road that leads to Gentile regions, and do not enter any Samaritan town. Go instead to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. Freely you receive, freely give. Do not take gold, silver, or copper in your belts. No bag for the journey, or an extra tunic, or sandals, or staff, for the worker deserves his provisions. Whenever you enter a town or village, find out who is worthy there and stay with them until you leave. As you enter the house, greet those within it. And if the house is worthy, let your peace come on it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. And if anyone will not welcome you or listen to your message, shake the dust off your feet as you leave that house or that town. I tell you the truth, it will be more bearable for the region of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Persecution of Disciples I am sending you out like sheep surrounded by wolves, so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of people, because they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be brought before governors and kings because of me, as a witness to them and to the Gentiles. Whenever they hand you over for a trial, do not worry about how to speak or what to say, for what you should say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you speaking, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and a father his child. Children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by everyone because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. Whenever they persecute you in one town, flee to another. I tell you the truth, you will not finish going through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A disciple is not greater than his teacher, nor a slave greater than his master. It is enough for the disciple to become like his teacher and the slave like his master. If they have called the head of the house Beelzebub, how much worse will they call the members of his household? Fear God, not man. Do not be afraid of them, for nothing is hidden that will not be revealed, and nothing is secret that will not be made known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light. And what is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the housetops. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Instead, fear the one who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Aren't two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. Even all the hairs on your head are numbered, so do not be afraid. You are more valuable than many sparrows. Whoever then acknowledges me before people, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before people, I will deny him also before my Father in heaven. Not peace, but a sword. Do not think I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's enemies will be the members of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life because of me will find it. Rewards Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Whoever receives a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water 
to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, I tell you the truth, he will never lose his reward. This is the word of God for the people of God. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Let us go boldly to God's throne of grace. Merciful God, we thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your grace. God, I thank you, O oh God, for the power of your spirit, O oh God, that holds us and keeps us, O oh God, on walking in the paths of righteousness. O oh God, I thank you, O oh God, for your sustaining power, Lord. Would you help us, O oh Lord God, to be to be able to endure to the end, O oh Lord God? Would you help us, O oh God, not to be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, not to be ashamed of Jesus, O oh God? Because if we are ashamed of Jesus, Jesus will be ashamed of us before you, O oh God. And we don't want that, oh Lord. So would you help us not to fear man, but to fear God, to fear you, oh God, the one who can kill both our souls and bodies in hell. Would you help us to fear you, to revere you, to love you, oh God, truly, oh Lord God, and help us, oh Lord God, to preach your gospel, oh Lord God, that your kingdom will continue to expand, oh Lord God, and that many people will come to faith in your son. Jesus Christ. Father, I pray this all in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Amen. We pray this time of getting the word with Truth Table has encouraged us all to not only be hearers of God's word, but doers. Share your reflections on these scriptures with us on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag get in the word and hashtag Truth's Table. Saints, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. Go with God. Get in the Word with Truth's Table is a production of InterVarsity Press. For 75 years, IVP has created and published resources that deepen lives for Christ to engage the university, church, and the world. Visit ivpress.com for more information. Our Bible reading plan is from biblestudytogether.com, and the Bible version is the new English translation used by permission. Sound engineering is from Pottery Studios, and our executive producer is Helen Lee.